everyone, I'm Francesca. Welcome, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I am very excited because this video has been made in collaboration with Forks Over Knives to tell you all about their Forks Meal Planner. So we are going to talk about the meal planner, the Forks Over Knives mentality. I'm gonna show you a recipe that I made from it and we're just gonna cover everything about the meal planner and it is a really, really amazing tool and resource and I just think it's really great so I'm really excited to talk about it all with you. First of all, if you haven't ever heard of Forks Over Knives or don't know what Forks Over Knives is, basically they are a huge brand and they made a documentary, they have a magazine, a website, and they have all these resources teaching people how to live a healthy plant-based lifestyle. They want to empower people to live a healthier life by helping people to understand the importance and power of nutrition. And like I said, everything is plant-based and we'll get more into exactly what the Forks Over Knives lifestyle entails. And it's really great because they just want to show people that living a plant-based lifestyle can be very easy, very attainable, and not very overwhelming and difficult. So I remember when I first found Forks Over Knives, it was when I first went vegan almost five years ago, and I watched the Forks Over Knives documentary, and I just found it really insightful and really helpful, and you should definitely watch it if you haven't seen it already. So they created this meal planner, which is really awesome because it is designed to help all kinds of people. So whether you're an old vegan like me, a new vegan, or you just want to incorporate more plant-based meals, or you're just trying to, you know, start the new year off with just kind of getting back into the groove of things and eating a little bit healthier again, and what not, this meal planner is great because it is all encompassing and it is just perfect for sort of every level. It's great for if you love to cook, if you don't like to cook too much, if you're new at cooking, if you're older cooking, and it just kind of has everyone covered, which I really love because I don't like when I look at a recipe and I feel like super overwhelmed, even though as much as I love to cook, you know, when I do cook for myself that's not a recipe, I want those things to be kind of quick and efficient and just, you know, not be too, too crazy. Not too overwhelming. They have an app now as well, so you can access the meal planner from your smartphone, a tablet, your computer, pretty much anywhere. I used my cell phone when I was cooking in the kitchen, making the recipe that I'm gonna show you, and it was so easy to just follow along and scroll, and it's all right there and super simple to use. The meals themselves, let's talk about them. They are all whole food, plant-based, and they are really easy. They can all be made in 35 minutes or less. It gives you a grocery list, a prep, like a vegetable prep and weekly prep so you can just have kind of things chopped up and ready to go for your week which i really really like i think that's really nice and it's also really cool because it shows you how to like you can shop by aisle you can shop by recipe they make it very easy and simple and easy to follow and like taking a lot of the work out of it for you which is really nice especially if you're busy and you know you have a family and you have kids like it can be stressful to try and plan out these kinds of things. I really like the meal planner because I can just substitute for what I have in my house. Let's say a recipe calls for spinach and I have kale, bam, make the change. If it calls for a red onion and I have a white onion, we just do a little swap. It makes it super easy. If you are on the fence and you're just not entirely sure if this is for you, you can try the meal planner for 14 days for free, no credit card required. So. I think that's really awesome, you know, dip your toes in the water, see if you like it, and check it out. And like I said, I think it's great for anybody because it's really good for beginners, but it's good for old vegans too. Like, I know for me, as much as I love making my recipes and I love making my food in the kitchen, sometimes I just can't think of anything to make. I'm just like, what am I going to eat for dinner? Like, I want to eat something filling and yummy and I can't think of anything, so then I just eat my same old tofu and mixed veggies. Like. It's good, but it's it's the same thing. I can I can eat that all the time. But I remember last year when I also collaborated with Forks Over Knives talking about the meal planner, I made their red lentil curry and it was so delicious and so filling and so satisfying. And it was something that I wouldn't have thought to really make. I wouldn't have thought to put red lentils and Thai red curry all together and kind of eat it like that. That's not something that ever crossed my mind. So it was a really fun way to make a new meal out of things I already love because I love red lentils and I love Thai red curry so much. For this recipe I'm going to show you that I made. I made their chickpea lettuce burgers and they were so good. Like I love chickpeas and I love doing things with chickpeas and I think chickpeas are amazing. It's fun to just kind of follow a different recipe and follow things and it just makes it easy. I didn't have to think about what I was going to put in those chickpea burgers. I just followed along and that's it. I came out with a delicious meal. So you're going to go to the app store, search the Forks Meal Planner app, download it right there open it up on your phone you have all your recipes and they add new recipes every week and they have a thousand plus meals already in their database so i'm going to go to the recipe box where i have saved the chickpea burgers because that's what i wanted to make they're my favorites 
so you can see them right there and i'm just going to check everything out you know get myself ready to make everything see what i need they give a little description of the recipe which is really nice so i'm just going to start prepping all my veggies for this they also have soy gluten and nut free substitutions for everything and it's super easy to scale meals up and down as well because you might want to make more or less you know for a family and they have kid-friendly substitutions and stuff like that too so it's really it's all encompassing so i'm just chopping up all my veggies and i love chopping up fresh veggies i don't know why it just makes me feel so good there's something about it and i love seeing everything all colorful and pretty and then we're gonna do a little slow-mo action on those chickpeas because they're just so cute bouncing around in the bowl and i'm just following the recipe and as you can see it's been pretty simple so far we're just matching the chickpeas adding up those chopped veggies gonna add in some extra things some lemon juice some brown rice and the rest of the recipe is obviously on the app. And then I'm just gonna form it into my patties. I'm making sure it holds its shape well, checking how many patties I'm gonna make from this. And they also tell you if you need any special equipment. So because everything is oil-free, we need a good non-stick skillet for these because we're going to cook them in the pan like so. So I'm just gonna add them all in there and let them cook until they're nice and golden. And they look something like this. They're browned up, they're heated through. That's exactly what we want. And then I was like, okay, something needs to go on the side of this. So I searched in my recipe box and you can show filters and I searched up sides. So I'm going to look through and I found something really easy to make, but they have all these options and like so many good things. There was a lot of stuff I wanted to try, but I went with this basil, corn and pepper salad because I had all the ingredients on hand and it was really quick to make and it paired perfectly with our chickpea burgers. And that's it. They also have a subscriber only community where you can get encouragement and ask questions, which I think is really nice. So now we are going to assemble our burgers. I have everything kind of all laid out and I also made their spicy cashew cream from the Forks Over Knives website to go with these as well. So I'm adding some cucumber ribbons on top. I have butter lettuce on the bottom as our beautiful lettuce wrap. Then we're adding the tomatoes, the salad, everything on the side. And that's it. How beautiful is this? I love this plate. It looks gorgeous it's colorful it is full of life and it is just delicious and i think it is something that anybody would want to eat i mean come on who wouldn't want to eat this it looks so good nourishes your body and i showed you guys that it was really easy to make it wasn't complicated it wasn't tricky no special equipment and now finally we get to eat So Donald Duck Street Burgers look so good. They are so delicious and really great because I got four servings out of them so I could just keep them in the fridge and eat them whenever I feel like it. I also really like that there is a like community that is built within this app because there's a comment section you could talk about substitutions you made, maybe things you put with your uh, recipes that other people didn't put in. You know, you can just have like, conversations about it and I think that's really nice because it's nice to have that support system. It's nice to feel like you're talking with like-minded people. Like that is exactly why I made my Instagram account when I went vegan because I didn't know any vegans and I was like, all right, this is gonna be a big transition in my life and I need that support system. And I think it's really nice that you could find that community within the app, within the website and you know, through their Instagram and just all their social media. And you just have this like huge support system of people who are doing all the same thing together. I think that the meal planner is just great for anybody, especially if you don't know where to start. I mean. It's good for everybody, but especially if you don't know where to start. I think if I had this when I first went vegan, this would have been amazing because I, you know, I mean, I figured it out, but I went a few months kind of just like, I was like, all right, I'll have avocado toast and oatmeal and, you know, just the typical things. But it would have been so nice to just have somebody emailing me, e like literally to your inbox, getting meal planners and meal ideas. So I highly encourage you to check it out. Like I said, you could try it for 14 days without putting a credit card down risk free. Just try it, see if you like it, get some ideas you know, check it out. But I think it's well worth it. And I think um, you guys will really enjoy it if you haven't already tried it or checked it out. And if you have tried the meal planner, please let me know down below your thoughts, how you liked it. And if you are going to try it, let me know. And if you do try it, let me know. I just want to hear back from you all if you, you know, your experience with it and everything like that. So again, a very big thank you to Forks Over Knives for sponsoring this video. And thank you to them for making an amazing meal planner and all of their incredible resources. I hope everyone is doing well, wishing you a great start to this new year. And what's a better way to start the new year than with some new meal ideas. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you soon with another video. Bye.